Hello everybody and welcome to a one sixth review. Haven't done one of these for a while. Today I'm taking a look at the Art Figures Judge Dread, officially known as Heavy Armoured Special Cop. Um, it's Dread, isn't it? It's an unlicensed Dread. It's AF015, the artistic interpretation and wow. Wow, 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 wow. I managed to pick this up from the Figure Station toy store in the Richmond Shopping Arcade in uh, Hong Kong. And yes, it cost me about 100 euros and I am over the moon. Let's take a quick look around the box. On the front here, you can see we've just got Dread on the front there in this kind of very traditional kind of pose. He's holding that gun up. You've got artistic interpretation on the top there and you've got the Art Figures logo in the top corner. On the side, we've got the continuation of the um, picture. And on the side here, it says, warning, choking hazard, small parts are not for children under 15 years old. On the back here, we've got Dread just standing there looking at us with this nice big uh, bold red bit, which gives us a website address for art figures. The front of this box is on a magnetic clasp. And if we just pull the foam off the front there, we are greeted by Dread, enclosed there with thousands and thousands of accessories and his armor. Now, reading uh, written reviews and watching other videos, this guy's gonna take some time to put together, but the overall results are outstanding. Now, out of the box, initially, he doesn't look all that much like Dread. You just gotta put all of these accessories on, kit him up, and make him look like a real judge. First of all, let's take a quick look at the detailing on the accessories. Red literally comes with an arsenal of accessories. First of all, let's take a look at this helmet. Really, really great paint application. You've got the judge's badge on the front here. You've got the really nice battle damage across the visor and across the side. It's a quite, quite a solid one. It feels like the uh, helmet you used to get with the uh, old action man figures. It's, it's a nice solid helmet. He comes with his gun, which again, the detailing on this is absolutely phenomenal. You've even got the text and selecting options printed on the side of the gun there. That is fantastic. Absolutely incredible attention to detail. We have his uh, body armor. Now I've known a few people have complained about the uh, actual eagle crests and the padding, uh, that they're meant to be gold and they're very, very dark, uh, but I think they applied uh, possibly acrylic um, gold paint just on there, just brushed it over, dry brushed it, and it really brings up those to look very much like the Dread Badge. Really, really nice material, very robust. Let's just take the uh, card out so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. Uh, this is one of the most difficult pieces to get on the body though. I'll tackle it when we get to it, it's just because uh, things are very, very small. All these clasps are extremely tiny and fiddly. I should be okay, hopefully, because I've got very small girl hands. We have a, an extremely nice belt, which I believe, it feels die cast. Not sure if that is, it might just be a very thick plastic, but it does feel die cast. Again, extremely fiddly, you can just see how small that is, it's such a tiny little belt. We have his gun holster. Uh, I'll tell you now that when I go to apply the gun holster, uh, the top strap is quite short. So I've been advised to place it around the knee area and then shift it up onto his thigh. Probably the best way of getting that on. And then the rest of the accessories are Literally, you've got ammo cartridges, you've got grenades, you've got a pouch, you've just got so much here. The pouch is leather, you've got more you've got gas canisters, you've got more pouches, you've got a first aid pouch, uh, you've got a holder, you've got everything. You've, is that a blade? That's his, uh, I believe that's his blade as well there. All of these slide onto the belts. You shouldn't have to loop them through, but again, they are extremely small and fiddly. Now looking at Dread from this angle, um, you can see it's a Carl Urban resemblance. I mean, from the eyes down, it is nigh on perfect. It's just they've included this kind of domed shape there to 
say, no, it's not actually Carl Urban. This is just somebody we've created, which, which is just kind of inspired by Carl Urban. It's just that magic that when you place that helmet over the head, you plug the peg in on top there, and that slides in to that helmet. And just as that goes on, that is absolutely incredible. Stunning. Right, let's get Dread kitted up. What I've done here, I've put the uh, leg section on. Uh, it basically just stretches over. I did put it over just below the knee and pulled it upright. You then got this tassel at the top of his holster and I'm gonna thread the belt through this. But you've also got to thread the belt through the armored jacket that I've put on. Basically the armored jacket is held on by these clasps, one here, one here, and then a rubbery clasp, kind of an elastic one that holds it onto the arm there. And same on this side, and you just zip it back up. Uh, the, I mean, the attention to detail on this is incredible. You've even got little tiny, 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 tiny zips that actually work. I mean, that's incredible. So I've now got to try and thread the belt through this section here and through here. So uh, I did it off the camera because it's so fiddly. There we go, there's the belt on. It's just threaded through. Basically, you start with the thin end and thread it through from this end, going through here, through this one, this one. Straighten those out a bit now. Come around, thread it through the holster loop, thread it through, thread it through, then you thread it back on itself and through like so. And here he is in all his glory. Uh, the only pouch we had to thread back on was the gas mask one. Uh, other than that, everything just clipped on and doesn't he look incredible? Now I can see why some of the guys painted up these sections gold, because they are a little bit dark, uh, but that is absolutely incredible. For 100 euros, which is about $130, um, I'm over the moon. That is a definitive Judge Dread. Let's take a closer look. Now I briefly touched on the face sculpt earlier on. I just uh, can't emphasize enough just how amazing that is. I mean, he's even got the mole there. I mean, let's just take the helmet off for a second. Off you come. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. Definitely one of the best sculpts I've seen. Those eyes just look so real. Ah, huh. cut my finger. Those eyes just look incredible. Oh, I hope they make a bike for this. <laughs> the armour itself, extremely highly detailed. The crest just looks stunning. So he's got the twin zipper, the badge. Come down to his wrist. If we even look on his wrist, look, he's got another judge. He's got uh, two of the bad guys, I can't think of the names. Just the quality of the build on this is fantastic. I've got a single clip in here because I've already got a clip in his gun. I've got the switchblade. The switchblade does actually open. Okay, we've got two more clips around here and a gas canister. This is just truly a work of art. The hardened knee pads, down to the boots, even to the uh, extent of the tread there. What a glorious, glorious piece. Now Dread is fully articulated. You've got a, a ball joint on the head, it goes down, up, really nice range of movement looking up there. Left and right. Uh, the downward motion's minimal, but it does look down. The shoulders, uh, the armor itself is flexible so it doesn't hold, um, hinder the shoulder articulation at all. It is on a ball joint in there. You do have an upper bicep swivel. You have a really nice deep bend at the elbow. You have a wrist swivel, a wrist pivot, and we have the wire fingers, so they are fully articulated, so we can really get some fantastic poses. He does have a waist swivel. He does have a really nice waist crunch. Again, nothing's really hindered, because this armor 
is fixed around the body and the belt is fixed to the armour, there is no real hindrance when moving him around. You've got a nice outward motion, slightly hindered now by the elasticity in the trousers. Again, going back, it's very, very minimal. You do have an upper thigh swivel. We have a double jointed bend at the knee. We have nothing on the calf, but we do have really, really deep bends on those ankles. And we've got some really nice pivots on those as well. And they do kind of just turn and flex. Honestly can't recommend this figure enough. He is an outstanding masterpiece of a figure. He's not without his flaws. Um, I actually broke the knife that comes with him. It's a very, very small knife. It still works, it still flicks up, still highly detailed with a blade there. But uh, the clip on the back is so thin that whilst it's going over the belt, it just pinged off. So I'm gonna have to just glue that on and then it will slide back on. But like I say, it's not without its fault. That section did break, but look at him. That is a movie dread, if ever I've seen one. Now, do we need a Sylvester Stallone dread as well to put alongside him? <laughs> I wouldn't mind one. And we definitely need his bike, definitely need a 1-6 scale bike for him to uh, sit on. Now, it's not essential to use a stand with dread because he is very, um, firmly seated, he does stand extremely well. But I do like to just use that just so we can get some slightly more dynamic poses, something that you wouldn't quite stand on his own normally. Um, something like this where he's kind of leaning back and he's, he's firing, it's such a great figure. I mean, I like the fact that you've even got like the ammo cartridges for the gun and the armor, the detailing, they've done an amazing job. Now, if you want a closer look at this figure and the video isn't quite enough, if you subscribe and like my Facebook page in the link below. I often upload galleries of the figures I have reviewed. And if you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Please feel free to leave comments below. I try to respond to everybody. Until next time, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. From myself and Judge Dredd, goodbye.